Number 57, the 300 times 10 to the 2 meter Arecibo radio telescope pictured in, you know, detects radio waves with a 4 centimeter average wavelength. Letter A, what is the angle between two just resolvable point sources for this telescope? All right, so we need to understand the Raleigh criterion and the formula over here. Um, also, here is a picture, <clears throat> and uh, basically, uh, these are the two point sources, okay? Um, they are located some particular uh, distance away, we can call it X. And when they pass through this central aperture, uh, the minimum resolvable angle between these two is when the central maximum here, see the central max of the one object is exactly in line with the first minimum of the second. Okay, so we have a formula that deals with this, all right? And it tells us that the angle here between them is going between those two point sources is going to be equal to 1.22 multiplied by the wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation divided then by the diameter of the aperture, okay? That diameter in there. So divided by capital D. So now in order to solve this, it's very straightforward. Um, because we have everything, right? It says four times, it's four centimeters, that's the wavelength, so that's radio waves, right? So that's four times 10 to the minus two meters, just convert that to meters, then divide it by the diameter, it's 300 times 10 to the two, okay? So 300 times 10 to the two meters, take out the quackulator and plug it in, 1.22 times four times 10 to the minus two, divided then by 300 times 10 to the two. And we get a value of about now 1.6, I guess 1.63, yeah, 1.63 times 10 to the uh, minus 6. Now you just have to be careful because that is in radians, okay? This is not degrees, the measurement here is in radians. Now letter B. <clears throat> How close together uh, could these point sources be at the 2 million light year distance of the Andromeda galaxy. So now they're telling us a, a distance, 2 million light years. We're not going to convert this into meters. You can, but we're going to leave the units in terms of light years. So what they're telling us here, according to the picture, is that the distance between, let's say, this Andromeda galaxy, which has these two, we're trying to figure out how close together these two point sources need to be. In other words, we're trying to figure out this distance here, okay, this distance. And they're telling us, you can call it Y, you can call it X, you know. Um, and they're telling us that the galaxy here, we'll assume that this leg is basically uh, 2 million light years. So 2 times 10 to the 6 light years. All right, or just LY would be the light year. Um, and then, uh, you know, they want us to find, so we know the distance away. We want to find this X. And wait a minute, didn't we just find this angle in here? Yes, we did, but remember that's in terms of radians, okay? So just be careful with that. Um, so this is a simple, you know, trigonometry problem. If you know the angle in here, then you're talking about the opposite side and then the adjacent side. So, oh, wait a minute, tangent, right? So sure, tan of theta is equal to the opposite side of the adjacent side. The then tangent now, be careful, this is in radians. Okay, actually, let me just solve this for, we gotta solve for the adjacent uh, opposite side, right? The X, so just simply cross multiply this. So the opposite side, which is X in the problem, is gonna be equal to the tangent of the angle multiplied by that adjacent length of the two times 10 to the six, okay? So let's just plug that all in, two times 10 to the sixth light years. Your answer is gonna be in light years, by the way. And the angle here is 1.63 times 10 to the minus sixth, all right? But please be careful. Your calculator has to be in radian mode. All right, if you plug this value in in degree mode, um, things ain't gonna go too well for you. So tangent, make sure it's in degree uh, radian mode. So tangent of that prior answer, 1.63 times 10 to the minus six, then multiplied by two times 10 to the sixth. And we get a value of about 3.25 3.25 light years, okay? 3.25 light years. 
All right, guys, that takes care of that. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing if you can, and I'll see you in the next problem. Take care.